Hi everyone, this is Russ with IOLINE Customer Service. This tutorial will show you how to export from CorelDRAW uh, and to go into any IOLINE software, whether it be 101, 301, Control Center, or FlexPlot on the apparel side. Uh, so this method will work for any of it. So the first thing I need to do is just type out some quick text here. I'll just write the word IOLINE. And we'll make it a little bit bigger so it's easier to see. There's something to actually cut. And we'll just zoom in on it so we can actually see it a little bit better. Uh, the first thing I'd like to do is put a contour around it so we have some layers. And this will work fine with 101 and 301. Uh, we want to do an outside contour. And all I do is change the uh, distance of the contour just once and then I'll bring it back. Uh, point zero, uh, point 0.15 is good. Uh, so now these are now combined into one kind of contour group. So we want to break that contour group apart, deselect, and then select one of the two outside layers and ungroup because they're also grouped as well. So now deselect and select one layer and now it's selectable as just one. So we're going to remove the fill and left or right click on a color to give it an outline color. Do the next for the next layer, remove the fill, right click on a different color, and then the third layer, remove the fill, and right click on a third and different color. So now we have three distinct colors. So we'll want to zoom back out to the entire page so we can see the bottom left corner. And we're going to grab everything and bring it down to the bottom left corner. This is your plotter origin down at the bottom left. So now make sure everything is selected and click File, Export. And the export window pops up. We're going to have to give it a name and make sure it says PLT HPGL plotter file. And make sure it's in a location you can find it again. Now it's very important. Make sure that selected only is checked. Once we hit OK, you want to click on this page tab. Make sure bottom left is selected. And also make sure plotter units says 1016. On the advanced tab, simulated fill should say none, and these checkboxes should not be unchecked. Your curve resolution needs to be at zero or the lowest number possible. And then hit OK. And that's all there is to it. If you follow those steps, uh, it'll open up every time and cut no problem in any of our ILN software.